Today, the nation's central bank lowered its benchmark interest rate by 25 basis points in a surprise decision. For more, our economics correspondent Moon Hedion joins us in the studio. Hedion, it was the bank's uh, last monetary policy meeting of the year. Uh, tell us about the, its reasoning behind the decision. Well, Tongmin, as you said, this was indeed a surprise rate cut from the BOK as it slashed its benchmark interest rate by a yet again another 25 basis points to 3%. Now, it's actually worth noting that the BOK rarely lowers its benchmark interest rate twice in a row. This is actually the first time in 15 years that it has done so. Market experts had widely anticipated a rate freeze due to the volatile foreign exchange market and increasing rate gap with the United States. The Korean one has been weakening against the greenback following the re-election of former U.S. President Donald Trump, hovering around the 1,400 mark. But the BOK decided to focus on economic conditions here at home. And here's what the central bank chief had to say. Although exchange rates have become more volatile, inflation is stable and household debt growth has slowed. However, downward pressure on growth has increased, so the Monetary Policy Committee decided to cut the interest rate further to help reduce these risks. Earlier this month, the International Monetary Fund's mission to South Korea suggested gradual rate cuts, stating that foreign market volatility does not pose a threat. Exchange rate volatility, we don't uh, think that poses a significant macro financial challenge for Korea. We don't see uh, the volatility uh, have Im impact on, on uh, financial risks or inflation. Data for October showed that inflation is stabilizing as the rising consumer prices slow to 1.3 percent year on year. As a result, the forecast for consumer price inflation has been lowered to 2.3 percent for this year and 1.9 percent for next year, both lower than previous forecasts. Mm -hmm. And on top of the inflation, the, the BOK governor also mentioned an increase in downward pressure in growth. Uh, what's the economic growth projections? Right, that's right, Changmin. So one of the key uh, reasons why the BOK decided to lower its benchmark interest rate against expectations was due to sluggish economic growth. So economic growth in South Korea has been stunted this year, starting off strong with a 1.3% advance in GDP in the first quarter, followed by a 0.2% decline in the second quarter. Although the BOK had anticipated a turnaround in the third quarter as it predicted growth of 0.5% back in August, Recent preliminary data show that it only came in at 0.1 percent. As a result, the central bank revised its economic growth projections for this year and next by 0.2 percentage points from 2.4 percent to 2.2 percent for 2024 and from 2.1 percent to 1.9 percent in 2025. The BOK attributed the weakened economic growth to a slowdown in export growth and said that growth in shipments is likely to fall short of initial expectations due to intensified competition and a possible rise in global trade protectionism. Here's what an expert said. Uh, we have very worrisome forecast for the next year due to very uncertainty of American government's economic uh, policies. Donald Trump declared that he wants in the increase the tariff up to 60 percent for uh, Chinese import and uh, one over 20 percent for the general uh, chef, even 25 percent for the imports from Mexico and Canada. You know, lots of Ukrainian companies have invested a lot of money to Mexico. In an economic slowdown, lowering the interest rate can help boost consumption and investment, as well as reducing the burden on small businesses. The central bank expects private consumption to rise at 1.4 percent this year, which is lower than its earlier forecast, reflecting a slow recovery in domestic demand. And what are issues behind the slow economic growth? So other than the slowdown in export growth, as cited by the BOK, um, experts and global agencies have pointed to more structural issues uh, that are underlying. Here's what one expert had to say. Korea's potential growth, the uh, normal growth that we can expect, has been falling for quite some time. That is partially due to demographics, uh, but even more serious problem is a reduction in efficiency and productivity. And this is a problem that Korea has been facing for a long time. 
With slow economic growth, there is now a larger possibility of further rate cuts in the near future. But experts warn of risks that these pose to the housing market and household debt. Right, Hanyan, thanks for the updates and analysis. Thank you for having me.